Okay, we have arrived here in the international terminal of Morelia, which is a very small airport. There's like five gates out and you kind of have to all go off the tarmac here. So now we're gonna try to find a taxi, Uber, whatever, and then we'll be on our way. For us, the best route was to get an Uber to go to everywhere we went to in Morelia. We had to wait a little bit longer, and but it did cost us less. The total ride time from the airport to downtown Morelia is about 20 miles, but I liked it because you go through all these small towns along the way, and it's also very rural coming from the airport into downtown, and so it's very green, and it was actually a very picturesque scene coming into downtown Morelia. As you come into downtown Morelia, you will notice very soon the heavy Spanish colonial architecture. This is due to the fact that this town was first founded by Spanish and was purposely made away from the native population. The historical center of Morelia is pretty flat, but the entire town was built on the top of a mountain. And so as soon as you get out of the historical city center, you will be going down or up depending on which direction you're going. So even though Morelia is a very walkable town, just be prepared to go up and down hills a lot. The hotel that we went to was called El Suburbio, and it was kind of a weird hotel because in the front it was a hamburger shop, but in the back it was a hotel, and it was a good hotel. It was centrally located, it had a balcony, and so overall it was a nice hotel. We can hang out here. Downstairs they have a microwave and sink they have. We're a few blocks away from the city center here. City center is over there. And we'll go over to the room. We have a big map here of all the different places here in Morelia Island to visit. So we'll have to check out a few of those places and see what's there. Okay, we're in number seven. Give you a see. Got Wi Fi in here. I'm sure everybody's been hooked up to Wi Fi already. So, so. Hello. Two beds. Mm -hmm. Well. We've got a closet area over here. Check out our little we've got shower, toilet. Pretty good. The line on the door says this was Morelos' house in 1801 to 1809. He was born here. So we should find up ahead his actual birth house, but this is one of the houses that he owned. We are over by the cathedral right now. Seeing what there is to see here. Move back a little bit. Otherwise they'll think you're crossing. We are on La Cotidora. And over here, this is the house where Morello's was born. Um, but I don't see an entrance to this museum. Seems like that would be the entrance, right? Mm -hmm. Jose Maria uh, Morello's, right who was that. born in this house, is known in Mexico as one of Mexico's liberators and was in charge of the Mexican independence movement after Miguel, Miguel Hidalgo was executed. Was and unfortunately, he was executed himself. And the state of Michoacan, of course, is very proud to have his birthplace home. And this is his home and gardens that you can normally see, and it's a museum. But every time that we went there, it was closed. It's like it's all closed up, but it's cool. At least we can say we got to see it. Big church over here to the right. Lots of ice cream shops. I haven't seen a La Michoacana here yet. They all say Tacumbo on it. This one and the one across the street says Tacumbo. The reason why they all say Tacumbo on it place. is because Tacumbo is like the village where most of the ice cream from Michoacana came from. 
So this one right the here state of Michoacan and like the city of Morelia, of course, have some great food that you, you should go out there and try. I'm not going to cover it much in this video because this is just about the places you can visit in Morelia. But I'm going to have another video where we talk about the food in Morelia. So I'll link that below and check it out. It's going to be part of this series of Michoacan. We're across the street from the cathedral and we're in the central plaza. As expected, all the benches that are in the shade are pretty much filled up. There's some people on the lawn, even though there's a fence. So the question is, can we find a spot? Let's try those benches over there. Okay. That'll work. And then you have the Grand Central here. We're here in the plaza and the pigeons are taking their bath. by the letters because you know if you aren't by the letters were you really there Denise? Probably not, no. Probably not. You probably weren't really there. So here let's take a picture. The Morelia Cathedral was completed in 1744 but is best known for its 1905 German organ which consists of 4,600 pipes. We're gonna go check out the cathedral. And I am going to take off my hat, so I'm not considered rude. It has the symbol of the Vatican on the door. Very worn down steps. here. Everybody's selling colorful embroidery here is what they're doing. Lots of colors here. Now we are walking through a very very peaceful protest. I believe they are protesting the governor over here who is celebrating 500 years since Spain came in and so I think that's pretty much what they're protesting against okay I'm now walking over by the governor's palace which is behind me here see it this is the governor's palace unfortunately they don't let you go inside but we can at least check it out from here this street down here we just we're over here by the governor's palace again and this little alleyway here gives a really nice picturesque view of the cathedral entrance here, which is really cool. We're walking back to our hotel and it's very obvious that we're, that this whole city is on the top of a hill here. The roads here are a little bit under construction. And so, yeah, it's a ditch. Interesting to see it like this. It's very deep. Oh, me too. Mm -hmm. 
I just bought our tickets for the trolley and they're for 11.30 at that booth behind me. The one on the left behind me. But it's not until 11.30 so I think this is a good time to go get a shoe shine. So that's what I'm going to go do and see how much a shoe shine costs. I'm in front of the Palace of Justice which I think is like the state supreme court building. Beautiful building here. And down to my right here I see some shoe shine guys. So I think I'm going to see how much they charge. The shoe shine guy he's taking off my laces and it's gonna cost me 25 pesos and it's gonna be pretty interesting he's got a lot of stuff so we'll see how he does it 25 pesos dollar 25 my shoes are nice and shiny and I had a nice conversation with the guy he's been doing this for 21 years in the same spot he has 27 grandchildren and he's happy with what he does so that's good we paid 80 pesos each it's about four dollars for this trolley and we're gonna check out the trolley tour to see where it goes. The trolley tour takes about an hour and as one would expect, it takes you around all the major points in the downtown historical section of Morelia. You can see how this is the old jail. Sin embargo, en este espacio son puestos bajo resguardo dos personajes. Esta es una cárcel que eh, actualmente es donde sesiona el poder legislativo, que de mucho sirve, pero bueno, aquí es donde sesiona el poder legislativo. Uh -huh. José, eh, José María Sorena, intendente de, de la Ciudad de México, decreta... This particular church is interesting because on the left there's bars and there's two different entrances and the reason why there's bars on the window was to protect the nuns because it was built in the 1500s and there, and there weren't too many women in the new world. On this walkway here that goes to the Temple of the Cross which used to be the cathedral is like a temporary cathedral until the main cathedral was built because it took 84 years to build the main cathedral but this goes by the aqueduct too and this walkway you were only allowed to walk on this walkway, walkway if you were Spanish or if you were Criollo so basically either if you were white or born to white people. Um, everybody else was excluded, but now everybody can walk on this way. Looks like there's a wedding party over there taking some wedding shots, so that's really nice. And I did see a quinceanera party earlier today. The outside of the Santuario de Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe is kind of plain. It's a plain facade with a nice little plaza outside. But the trick is, when you get inside, it is decorated to the hilt, including this altar that has 44 pounds of pure gold. And as you can see, from top to bottom, everything in this yep. church is decorated with gold leaf and Baroque to the max decorations. This mural is talking about how in 1930, from 1931 to 1938, there was a vision by Jesus to a nun named, named Sor Bastiana Helena Kalkowski, who was a Polak. And so she became a saint. And then it also talks about John Paul II, 
how on April 30th of 2000, um, John Paul II canonized her as a saint. So that's what this is talking about. Si hoy en día nos parecen estrechas las calles, hay que hacer la mención, desde luego, que cuando se construye la ciudad, el, 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 el transporte, perdón, eh, es una carreta, entonces será un costal. Insisto, lo vamos a ver a continuación. Esto que ustedes están viendo es la plaza principal del templo de San José, por ende un remate visual. Si ustedes observan, San José tiene un estilo peculiar en cuanto a la distribución de la plaza. Visual. Actualmente este espacio San Antonio es Casa de, de Mendoza Y el personaje que estamos viendo a mano izquierda será el Antonio This is part of the University of Michoacán, which is also the building where Miguel, Miguel Hidalgo, one of Mexico's independent movers, first went to school. Looks like there's some art for sale over here. Nice art in front of the church here. This is fountain and church which was also where across the street from where Hidalgo went to school. The palace of Clajinero which is now in the palace now and they've got some cool animals and they're decorated with natural decorations and shiny decorations and if you come close on it you can see it's all fine beadwork is what this is you can't touch it but it's pretty cool. Again, over here, they go to this grasshopper. You can see it's all fine beadwork. Up here on the second floor, you have a lot of modern art, very imaginative art here. This is how Denise and AJ spend most of the vacation with me on a bench. From where the cathedral was, and we're going down this street to the Garden of Roses to an ex convent which used to be the convent, but now it's part of the University of Michoacan, the state university. Here in the Plaza of the Roses, they've put up shop. A lot of people selling clothing for sale. A lot of used clothing for sale here. It's pretty busy out here. In the 1500s and the 1600s, if you were the oldest daughter in the Catholic religion, you had to become a nun and of course many daughters didn't like this and so they were sent to monasteries like this one where they were put basically behind bars and the families would visit them in churches like this with little visitor centers that you can see those little holes on the right there are where the families would come and visit with their family well with their eldest daughter um, because that was the rule of course that's changed now but this is still a point of contention in Mexico. The macho culture in Mexico has been a long-standing thorn in women's side in Mexico, and it has kind of boiled over into what is now the feminist movement. What you see here is a statue of the bishop who used to be the bishop of the monastery that we just visited. But as you can see, 
The feminists have taken over this park and have decorated him in an apron so that he can be the cook. Denise decided she wasn't going to step foot in the convent. And so we are out here at the women's protest fair. That's what this is. It's a women's protest fair. They decorated the former bishop in um, cooking clothes and the women have taken over the space here at the <laughs> Plaza of the Roses. This is Morelia. I hope you enjoyed our time. I enjoyed our time here and we'll be going on to many more states soon so if you like to please subscribe and we'll see you on the next adventure. Thank you for watching. Okay.